in this video, I'll reflect on historical leaders' key attributes and the expectation for leaders today. Leadership is best exemplified by the quality of servitude rendered to others. Now, I know politics and religion can be controversial topics, but I believe the Church can provide guidance on all matters, and especially on the expectations of good leadership, because when you vote, you are giving an endorsement. Then, why not endorse based on these three awareness? First, national and international visionary. Second, respect for the humanity of each person. And third, the advancement of humanity for the greater good. History has taught us that great historical leaders also bore humanitarian qualities, such as compassion and deep respect for humanity. Their compassion, humility, and resilience have inspired millions to believe in a better world, so much so that their teachings have been timeless and transcend borders. Think about global icons like Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., Nelson Mandela, or spiritual and religious icons like Moses, Muhammad, Jesus the Christ, Mahatma Gandhi, Dalai Lama, or even Mother Teresa. So why should today's presidential candidates or leaders be any different? There is an unspoken expectation for leaders to be great. And room is available for leaders who are global thinkers, someone to protect every man, woman, boy or girl's hope for liberty, equality and justice. As rightfully, written by the young former British man Thomas Jefferson in the Declaration of Independence. He said he rather to have fought for their rights against British tyranny. In 1776, Jefferson laid out a 28-count indictment against King George III that outlined why go to war. Bottom line, the former Englishmen wanted their freedom from their former English king. Recall these truthful, timeless, and indelible words. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal. We are endowed by the Creator with certain inalienable rights, life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. Imagine a leader who does not just represents a few, but identifies with everyone because of the belief that the Creator ubiquitously dwells in each human being, making us all equal. And echoing Thomas Jefferson, one endowed by the Creator with certain inalienable rights. Identify leaders who publicly acknowledge that the Creator has preordained all humans with the gift of free will. If a man's free will of any kind is still considered to be a gift from the Creator, therefore, so is a woman's gift of free will to choose. Who dares to fathom that he or she can judge or reverse God's free will gift to women? Can man be angrier than God about anything? The answer is no. None is righteous. Whether we realize it or not, this argument is not only about women, could it be that some are intolerant about God's grace? And in this specific case, God's grace towards women? Better yet, who can question the Creator's partnership with parents? Any question about free will should be directed to the omniscient Creator who guarantees free will to all, bar none. Therefore, a great leader is one who is wise enough not to compete with the Creator and not to think of oneself of being capable of caring for anyone 
more than the creator. A great leader is compassionate. A compassionate leader will seek resources to help a woman, but definitely not by force, and especially not by any political leader, much less government. A great leader is bold enough to admit the inherent evil of discrimination has too often been because of racism, nationalism, and denominationalism. A great leader will be surrounded by consultants and experts greater than him or herself. A great leader should be open to seek pastoral care guidance from a non-denominational clergy, such as a clinical chaplain. A great leader should not only be charismatic and astute, but also be well-versed in immigration law or consult immigration law experts to be factual and avoid the ruthless propaganda about immigration and immigrants. Furthermore, all great leaders are to know that America is already great. However, every leader should be held accountable to uphold America's legacy and sovereignty as a great nation. Great leaders must never forget why America is great. Let's turn to the words written on the Statue of Liberty. America will remain great as long as each leader represents not just the rich but embrace the tired, the poor, the wretched refuse of our shore, the homeless, the tempest, and the humble masses yearning to breathe free. This is not just a dream, this is a necessity. These values are the foundation of democracy. Endorse a leader who will best unify the American dream despite race, beyond our birth nations or across religious beliefs. Thanks for watching Gift to All. And remember, your vote endorses.